Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What we are learning now is the forgiving love of the Father. Praise God. Father is always forgiving. Praise God. That's why the Bible says, God so loved the world, the Father so loved the world, that He, that He, that He took His Son. Have you ever heard anybody say to you, I love you? Oh, never heard that you know what's the meaning of love love is not a feeling love is not an emotion love is a person God is love that's why God's word says God is love God is not a, not a feeling he is a person and whenever you say love according to God standard not the world standard God's standard love means to give everything not expecting anything in return and that is called as God's love, agape love. God's love cannot be experienced by your feeling. It's an encounter. Praise the Lord. Have you heard this song? God's love is so beautiful. I don't know what's God's love you can sing that song a hundred times and still not experience God's love because only when you experience God's love you are able to forgive forgiveness cannot come without you experience God's love and if anybody wants to experience God's love that person can experience through 1 John chapter 2 verse 4 1 John chapter 2 verse 4 anyone who keeps my word in him is my love perfected in him praise the Lord hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. just read that 1 John chapter 2 Praise God. So the more and more you are a person who is a doer of the word of God, you will experience the love of God perfected in him. Now, for example, when God created Adam, the Bible says he created him in his likeness and image and gave him the whole garden of Eden. Right? Come on, right? Why do you think God created Adam? He created Adam to have relationship. And he poured his love into Adam. And he made Adam just like him. So God took his love and poured it into Adam. Now Adam was filled with love and he went all around to pour that love into all of God's creation. And he found a kangaroo. And he found that kangaroo is not, no, uh, not a match for him. So he went to an elephant. He was too big for him. He went to a spider too small for him. And he was very sad. And he came and told God, Listen God, you have created me in your likeness and image. But you got somebody to love. And I have nobody to pour this love. And only when I will begin to pour this love in somebody, then only I can be like you. That's why he was sad. Because when there is love in you, you cannot keep it for yourself. You will look out for opportunities or make opportunities to pour something that you got in somebody's life that will make that person's life beautiful. Hallelujah. If you ask me, brother, why do you come here? I don't get a single rupee by coming here. But I come here because it's a great opportunity to pour love that God has given me. So out of the 31 days in a month, 28 days, I'm traveling pouring love from city to city because the day I tasted this love I cannot keep this treasure with me day and night morning afternoon night I am doing what? giving 
when you are flooded with love all that you will think is to give and that's what god did to adam he gave and when love began to flow into adam adam had dominion over everything what is the lord teaching us as long as you are encountering or experiencing god's love you will have dominion over the powers of darkness you will have dominion over your trials you will have victory over every problem and trouble that comes against you only when you are operating in god's love if you are operating in emotional love for example the love between parents and children the love between brothers and sisters the love between uh, the spouses i'm not talking about those love i'm talking about god's love agape love where the love is not depending on circumstances it's not depending on performance it is one way love whether you love me whether you do good to me or you don't do good to me my performance for you will still be doing good that's god's love can we give the lord a big hand for that no 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 god did not see us doing one good thing to save us no the bible says even when we were his enemies he sent his son jesus to take our place on the cross and shed his blood so that our sins be forgiven and we could be saved that's love we we always want to love those who love us come on but god's word says the real christian is a person who loves those who hate you and this kind of power will come into you when you encounter god's love and the only way you can encounter and experience this god's love is by obeying god's word now please understand romans chapter 5 verse 5 says god has poured this love into everyone who believes in his son jesus through the holy spirit now everybody seated here have been empowered by this love and this love is in each one of us and this love is in the spirit not in your senses now this power of love who is god himself is in each one of you but we cannot use this love unless we renew our mind and make a decision to obey god's word praise the lord hallelujah let's take an example of jesus no what happened with adam sorry what happened with adam the moment adam disobeyed god's word the love of god was cut off because the bible says the one who obeys his word the love of god is perfected in him when you disobey god's word you yourself have cut off yourself from the love of god and now the very power that was in you to have dominion over the powers of darkness you yourself have cut off and that's why adam lost the garden of eden he lost everything and his life became a misery galatians chapter 5 6 or 4 6 just check it out it says faith works through love now in the bible the bible says that uh, faith can move mountains praise god faith can move mountains how many of you have got a cupboard at home where you keep your dress nobody you got a cupboard right and in that cupboard there is a rod and on that you fix up all your hangers of clothes right now that rod is the rod of love and on that you can fix the rod of faith you can fix the rod of joy the rod of peace the rod of healing the lord rod of uh, deliverance the rod of protection the rod of prosperity all these hangers you can place it on that rod but what happens when the rod falls down what happens to the hangers they are all fallen down that's exactly what god's word says your very spiritual life is not depending on how much prayer you do nothing your spiritual maturity does not depend on how much word of god you know and how much you preach your spiritual maturity is how much are you walking in love with one another i'm not talking about emotional love i'm talking about that agape love how much are you ready to die to yourself and be obedient to god's word the level of your love walk with one another is the level of the anointing that will flow into your life and you will see manifestation of god's power every day of your life every day 
your life will never be normal it will be supernatural super power when you are walking in love so what is the devil's job the devil's job is to get you out of love to get you into bitterness to get you into offense to get you into all kinds of negative emotions and if he can get you into that the fuse is blown off so in a day how many times does your fuse get blown off most of the time and now when you're praying there is no power because the bible says faith works through love that's why before jesus could leave this planet earth he gave us only one commandment and what was the commandment love what are we doing we have got a beautiful praise and worship we got beautiful teachings we got beautiful praying we got beautiful intercession we got everything but when it comes to love we don't see love we see love based on performance we see love based on our works is it right hello is it right if you want to check jealousy on a scale you will get maximum jealousy in the body of christ not outside you'll get maximum offense not outside in the body of christ because we have been educated with everything but the source of all power that comes from love that's where we are lacking so the very moment the fuse is blown off none of these switches will work praise god so all that the devil has to do is to use one of his agents to come and offend you and get you into bitterness get you into offense get you into anger get you into hatred and when you have got all these things the bible calls you a murderer ask your neighbor who are you ask your neighbor who are you are you a christian or are you a murderer when you hate your brother your sister you are a ask your neighbor is he talking about you nobody is even asking you are the only sister who asked all the others are looking at me they are saying what to ask i know who i am come on your top priority in life must be love must be that the more and more opposition the more and more people come against you the more and more you be stubborn to love that person and once you learn to do that praise god no demon in hell can stop you from reaching your destination 12 years back i found this secret and i have been blessed and blessed and blessed and blessed and blessed praise god most of the time when i go to preach there are troubles there's so much of opposition that i should not even reach that place to preach the gospel but praise god the more the opposition the more the strength the more you get stronger in your faith when you operate in love praise the lord praise the lord let's take the example of jesus adam lost the garden of eden when he disobeyed love went out and when love went out everything was gone now look at jesus he walked in love And the Bible in John 13 I like this verse. I love this verse. John 13. The scripture has really really blessed me. John 13 verse 1. Now before the feast of the Passover when Jesus knew that his hour was come that he should depart out of this world unto the Father having loved his own which were in the world he loved them he loved them to the end imagine i want you to just be jesus okay you are jesus and you are sitting there and there is judas sitting right in front of you and you know this man is going to betray you this man has already taken 30 silver coins and he is going to betray you and lead you to death will you be able to love this man hello but look at jesus he loved him to the end human nature is to preserve ourselves the very nature of man is selfishness if you have ever committed any kind of blunder in your life it's only because of selfishness if marriages are being destroyed it's because of selfishness because all the time i want i want i want it's when it is i you are already on the on the way to satan but look at jesus 
He has a plan where he wants to fulfill the plan of the father and not his own plan. As a human being, he doesn't want to go to the cross because it's it's going to be painful. He is saying, "Father, if it's your will, take this suffering away from me." He doesn't want to be separated from his father. And yet he says, "Not my will, your will be done." And he is ready to go through the cross and obey his father even unto death. What happens? He gets victory. So what is love? When you are a doer of the word of God, you experience love and God's purpose and God's plan will be accomplished in your life. How many of you believe God's plan is better than your plan? And how many of you believe your plan is better than God's plan? Praise God. Praise God. Now now watch this. In um, 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 18 onwards. There's a beautiful word in the RSV Bible which I did not find in the other Bible. Verse 18 onwards. S- yeah, servants. Be servants be submissive to your masters with all respect. With all respect. Not, only to the kind and not only those who are kind and good-hearted, but also those who are harsh with you. then for one is a prudent if if he is mindful of god he endures pain while suffering unjustly aha uh-huh. what i like this word credit say that credit say that credit say that again what credit is it when you do wrong and you are beaten for it you take it patiently now listen uh, baby have you done ever masti some masti you have done has mummy beaten you okay when you have done masti and mummy beat beat you did you open your mouth no you said mummy i am sorry you didn't say that come on did you say oh you are not even saying sorry god bless you Okay when you do wrong and you are beaten for it we will say sorry but what if i have not done anything wrong and i'm beaten up now what happens to us will you keep your mouth shut will you take it patiently not at all you'll open your mouth and give a piece of your mind right the bible says no when you are being unjustly beaten for something that you have not done and you take it patiently the bible says you are in god's plan you are in god's approval and there is a credit in your account come on tell me in this world there are so many times unjust suffering comes into our life do we have opportunities after opportunities to increase our credit account do we increase it come on do we increase it when we get opportunities to increase our credit account we battle against that person the world standard but if you can remember and be mindful of this one thing that i had made so many mess and my father in heaven forgive me of all the mess and here is a brother or sister who has come against me and done such a small mess If I can understand the forgiving love of God who has poured a ocean of mercy and forgiveness in my heart and all that he is asking me is to give a small pinch of forgiveness to the other person then why am I finding it difficult Hello That's exactly what happened to a servant He owned a big balance And the master came and he said have mercy on me and the master said okay i i forgive you and i cancel all your debts and the same servant was let loose and then he found another servant who owed money just might be 20 rupees and this fellow was uh, uh, forgiven of lakhs and lakhs of rupees and when he caught that servant he beat him up and he said give me the money and the, when the master came to know he said When I could forgive you of so many things could you not go and forgive the your fellow brother of that small thing what happened to him 
he was put in the prison and he had to pay everything and he lost everything in life the same thing happens with us the heavenly father has forgiven us of so many things and all that he is asking us is to forgive our brother and sister which is so small if the father had not to forgive us we were all destined to go to hell hello and the bible says unforgiveness leads you into hell but let me tell you it is very difficult to forgive anybody with your own strength but with the love of god it is possible and it is easy it is very easy to forgive let me give you an example when you sow a chiku seed what do you get what do you get chikus everything that you sow in life everything in god's kingdom comes to you by faith it does not come by because of your feelings it comes by faith even so forgiveness must be forgiven by faith and not by feeling many 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 people want to forgive somebody conditionally you do this and this and this for me then i will forgive now did the father forgive you that way did the father say if you change your life i will forgive you did he say that he said okay first change your life become strong and then i will forgive you no he said the moment the younger son came to his senses did not do one good thing but came and repented the father forgave him because he moved by faith so i received forgiveness from god by faith not by my works i do not go to heaven by works if anybody has been believing that i will go to heaven by my works the bible says you have got disqualified because you have the righteousness of your own and jesus called and god calls that righteousness as filthy rags i go to heaven because of god's mercy and grace not by my good works oh yeah i receive the mercy and grace by faith i receive everything from god by faith and therefore i even forgive people by faith i remember a lady i had gone to her house i did not know who she was and and the lord said preach on forgiveness so i began to preach on forgiveness the the uh, the prayer got over and she said listen the topic was good but there are two people i will never forgive in my life and i looked at her and i said okay tell me she said i will not forgive I said okay you don't forgive but let me tell you you don't forgive you go to hell and when you don't forgive that's your pride and satan's downfall was pride you don't forgive you don't receive forgiveness she said listen it's so difficult for me to forgive i said who are these two people she said one is my husband and the other one is the woman with him whom she is living for the last 6 years he left me and my children for that woman i said okay now you find it difficult to forgive i agree with you but by the grace of god you can forgive and forgiveness is not an emotion or a feeling forgiveness is a decision forgiveness is a you might not feel good to forgive that person you might even want to kill that person but when you forgive by making that decision by speaking to god and saying god i do not want to forgive this person but because i love you i want to show my evidence of love by making this decision to forgive this pe- person the moment you make that decision by faith the power of god will move and i said to her listen can you do what jesus did jesus won the battle on the cross when when he opened his mouth and said father forgive them for they know not what they are doing because with all that torture that he went through a human being would have cursed the person but jesus showed his love by forgiving and you tell the lord lord you came to this planet earth not as god and man you came as man and as man through the power of the holy spirit of holiness you could forgive according to the word of god So Lord I find it very difficult to forgive this husband of mine I find it difficult to forgive this woman who who snatched my husband 
but here i am asking you for the same grace forgive me o lord first because i did not know what i was doing so many blunders i have done in my life and i ask you to forgive me first and i also ask you lord give me the grace to forgive and now that i believe that this grace has come through the knowledge of your word i make a decision even though i don't feel like but i make a decision lord to forgive so in the name of jesus i forgive my husband i forgive my wife i forgive that woman i i love them i bless them and she kept on saying these words and she burst out crying and crying and crying she must have cried for nothing less than half an hour when the whole thing was over i asked her what happened she said i've never experienced this before i do not feel any hatred i do not feel i don't know what's happened a power of god has come upon me i said that's how it happens and i said why don't you take hosea chapter 2 verse 6 and there it it is written that hosea had a wife who was a prostitute and this woman would go after a uh, young man and and hosea began to cry and the lord said listen hosea i will prepare a hedge of thorns around her and even if she wants to go after her lovers she won't find them and she will come to her senses and say let me go back to my husband so instead of the wife now i told this woman you why don't you pray this prayer and she began to pray this prayer day and night and in 3 months time there came a call from her husband for the first time in 6 years and he said i want to meet you where can we meet and she said why don't you come home and he came home and she opened the door and she was filled with joy and and the husband did not see any hatred or anger and he said are you not angry with me and she said no the love of god in me does not allow me to have anger towards you i love you and let me tell you one more thing if you have got any child through that woman that child is my child too i am the mother of that child and let me tell you i love that child as well and i love that woman as well and i forgive you both as well and the husband burst out crying and he said listen the woman just found another man and she has gone and he has she has taken another man and they have gone and i'm left alone and can i come back home she said you are always welcome please come home and today they are living together how did it happen with the forgiving love praise god if my wife had not to forgive me my marriage would have been destroyed praise god and this forgiving love can come through the word of god hallelujah and through this forgiving love not only my life change today my life has become a blessing to so many people praise the lord